People ask me all the time, how do you know what's a legitimate update and what's not on a Windows computer? Well, like I tell them, sometimes it can be tough. Just because somebody knocks at your door at 2 o'clock in the morning and says they're a friendly neighbor doesn't exactly mean they're friendly. Let's take a look and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I have two icons here that look almost identical. One says new updates available. So if I tap on that, I'm actually going to the true Windows Update dialog box showing me that I actually have some legitimate Windows updates available that I need to install. If I look at the right one, this is for the Windows Ultimate Booster, which is actually a piece of malware that we have to get off of this machine. But just to look at it, a normal person would think, well, that's the real update and that's something useful. It looks identical to the true Windows update. Watch what happens when I try to run McAfee Security Scan. Let's just see how safe and how much protection it really provides. When I run it, notice that the actual piece of malware on the machine is telling me that the legitimate McAfee Security Scan is a piece of malware. So in other words, the virus is taking over the security scanner trying to tell you that the actual security scanner is really a virus. It's just insane. And so people ask me all the time, well, why do they write these viruses? Why do they do this? Well, let me show you why. See right here, trial version. Please purchase the full version to ensure the ultimate protection. So let's click activate and see what happens. Hello. So we have no way of verifying if this is truly a uh, SSL encrypted page. And even if it is, this is probably going to end up in the hands of some kid in Russia and get sold on the black market. So this is exactly why they do this kind of stuff. It is big business, and there are a lot of people that will actually put their credit card information in here to try to get rid of something like this. And again, you only make Pandora's box open wider. You know, I always tell everybody that most of the time, especially on Windows, if you get a virus on the machine, it's because you asked for it. Might not have meant to, but it's because you asked for it. If you take a look at this computer, almost all of the infected files are in the user's download folder. That means that he explicitly clicked download and downloaded these executable programs and then installed them, thus infecting the machine. If you got a virus, you probably asked for it.